I'm cooking my first ever smoked brisket. Now, <clears throat> this is an Englishman trying to do something properly American, but uh, I'm really interested in this. And um, I've got a, a brisket of Wagyu beef. So this is, if you have a look down here, this is Wagyu brisket. Um, and I, I've got a particular yearning for this because it's got so much intramuscular fat. It's not a very thick one. It's quite small. I know that, but it's only for four of us. So I'm not going to cook it quite as long and slow as traditional recipes, but I'm going to start it off in the Traeger at about um, 90 degrees centigrade, which is about 220 Fahrenheit. I'm going to do that for like four hours. Then after that, we'll wrap um, in baking parchment and then we'll crank it up a little bit and let it carry on. And hopefully we'll be able to eat it tonight. So this isn't going to be like a 12, 15 hour brisket. It's going to be like a seven hour brisket. But I've got a good feeling about it. It's a beautiful piece of meat. It's not going to be very big when it's done, but it should be incredibly juicy and tasty. So, on she goes. I've trimmed quite a lot of fat. Being a, um, being Wagyu, it's going to be fattier than a normal brisket. It's also, as I say, just not very big. It's probably a Wagyu cross in fairness, not purebred, but, um, there's so much fat in there. I want to cook it on a really gentle temperature because I don't want to cook all that fat out early on. So as I say, I've put her on, let's have a look, put her on 95 degrees. I might even bring that down a little bit. Do you know what? Let's take it at 85, 85 degrees. So that's about 210 Fahrenheit. And I'm going to leave it in the Traeger here for about four hours and see how it goes. I haven't yet fired up the big brother because I was so excited about this machine that I bit the bullet and bought a, a Traeger big one for home and one for the woodsman. And John, my head chef at the woodsman, is doing his nut at the moment because he's figuring out that there's something that we can use like on a Sunday, we can do like roll, roll, um, whole roll wild boar in there, slow cooked, keep it at a perfect temperature, bring out pieces into the restaurant as we need it, smokiness, etc. It's really useful. So I haven't even seasoned this baby yet, it's brand new. I'm very excited. I need to get something bigger to cook on it. <laughs> but I'm gonna just have another go, have a go on the, the original for the time being. And uh, yeah, great fun, excited. It's fun trying a new project. I mean, the, the chippings I'm using for it, here we go. I'm using hickory, cherry mixture. Um, gourmet which uh, should be really good now after four hours at a um, hundred odd degrees centigrade 220 i um i wrapped this wagyu brisket in baking parchment like this and and now i've given it another four hours on top so it's had a total of eight hours and now i'm bringing it out oh come on i'm quite excited about this Oh yeah, yeah. Okay. Let's have a look. Coming in the end. Ooh. It's very tender. It's very, very tender. Cut it in half. That just fell apart. Okay, I'm really happy with this. So that's had a total, and it's not a big brisket, and it's not a thick brisket, but it's had a total of seven hours in the Traeger, and I'm just gonna take some of this brisket and lay it on a piece of bread I just made. Get a tiny sprinkling of salt. Look at that, we got the bark around the edge. Okay, that is way better than I thought it would be. It's got the perfect bark ring around the edge. It's as tender as anything. Let me put that down and show you, look. Just pulls apart. Oh. Wagyu brisket, cooked in the Traeger, seven and a half hours, wrapped halfway through, just disgustingly naughty, tender, 
juicy. It maybe could have had another hour, but for me, that's just amazing. Mm. 